Is RV life affordable? Find out next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you really can live amazing. We actually have some good news for you. Lots of people ask all the time, can you afford to do this life? Or do you have to be really rich or wealthy to live full time in a camper? And what do you think? Well, luckily, no, because I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> So we have some tips for you as to ways you can do this life affordable. I want you to know that I am on my eighth camper. My first one was $1,100. It was just a truck camper. So there's all different ways you can do this life. And there are definitely some tips to make it more affordable. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly come in at a very high level. I've seen RVs, Class A's now for over $2 million. So there is a high end in this <laughs> lifestyle, but it's just like sticks and bricks house. You know, you can get a, a small three, four bedroom place that, you know, 1,500 square feet, and you can get a mansion on the beach for my, you know, many millions now. <laughs> That's right. So if you want to do RV life super expensive, you can, the sky's the limit. So we had a neighbor uh, that I was so impressed with. Her name is Jeannie and she had been full-timing and is still full-timing mm -hmm. in this runaway camper. It's a little tiny four foot by six foot trailer. Four by eight, she's basically a, a sheet of plywood with a camper built on it. So she's been doing that for six years now, not year round, about six or seven months a year, but that's still very impressive. She was able to do it on the cheap by getting a camper like that. She got it new, it was like $4,000. I bought the Runaway in March of 2016, and I've been full-time ever since, except as I always say, I work four months of the year on a fire lookout. The reason that this works for me is this is all I have to do to hook up. If I'm prepared and I'm careful, I can roll in five minutes. Empty, it weighs 670 pounds. I have about 300 pounds in there. So with the runaway, it's so simple. I can pull into a rest area, a parking area, off on a side road, unlock the door, climb in and lay down and go to sleep. It's my home. Mm -hmm. It's my happy home and you can pull it with anything yeah that's so inspiring that you know she didn't have to buy a, you know a new vehicle just you know your regular vehicle will pull it she uses plug-in appliances and uh you know the, the bath houses and you know it's, it's a way to do it that if you want to be out here so bad you can do it here she is doing it full time, almost full time. Right, and I could imagine if you had, you know, a job that allowed you to work out of your camper, you could start at that level, you know, spend $4,000, get a little one, and then, or even get a used one for less money than that. Just like I said, my truck camper was $1,100, and then save money and get something bigger, but at least you're out here living the life now, and that's what I find inspiring about Jeannie. She wasn't gonna let finances stop her. She was just gonna come out and do it. Another tip is Thousand Trails. We are Thousand Trails members, and there is a camping pass, which is only $615 a year, and that allows you to camp in a zone, an area in the country that has 10 or 12 campgrounds, mm -hmm. Thousand Trails. Mm -hmm. These are gated campgrounds typically, and they have lots of amenities. So you can actually camp four nights, four nights, four nights, just as long as you go to different Thousand Trails with no With no time out in between. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, you, you can stay two weeks, 14 days, and then you have to be out of the system for seven days. We did a pretty extensive video on this, so rather than take up all of that, the time of trying right. to explain that, just go and watch our other video and, um, and it'll, it, it will make sense. Another way with Thousand Trails is, that is something to look at is if you want to winter in Florida, look at the Adventure Pass. And we have a video about that, so we're not going to take up time here about it. Now, one way that people do this life, uh, especially, well, I don't know, I was going to say especially retirees like myself, but I don't know that that's true. But what I'm thinking about is staying on one side of the country, but going north in the summers and south in the winters to uh, stay within the, the, the more comfortable climates. Right, because it can be so expensive to keep your camper warm in the winter if you're, if you're staying in place. Mm -hmm. So moving at least seasonally is definitely the way to go. We're going to eventually get to that point in, in our RV life where we're going to spend 
summers up north and winters down south and we're not going to do the every three week travel like we're doing right now. Right, and what makes that affordable is if you look at campground rates by the night, well, they're obviously they're going to be cheaper by the week and way cheaper by the month. Oh yeah, usually yeah. It's, it's half. Yeah, so not only will you be saving on okay, you're going to be saving on buying less propane because you're, you're moving around with the season. You're also going to be saving on your campgrounds mm -hmm. because uh, you're getting the cheaper rate by staying longer. And then you're going to be saving on a big one, which is for us is fuel cost. Mm -hmm. The travel days are expensive. We can spend $100 or more on just on a travel day, on a full driving day. Yeah, the months where we do a lot of traveling, our, our fuel bill goes up by double. If we're in one place for you know, three weeks or so, that, that month the fuel costs are somewhere in around $300 um, for the amount of driving around we do. And, and we have a Duramax diesel truck that we drive around in, so it doesn't get the best gas mileage. Right, well, we should mention, we've talked about Thousand Trails already, the Thousand Trails membership that we have allows us to stay up to three weeks in a campground. Right. So we're not paying anything, after we've paid the initial membership fee, we're not paying anything more. If you're wondering, this is not where we're filming this. This is not a Thousand Trails campground. Yeah, this is a private campground in just outside of West Glacier. One way to save money is looking at amenities. Now, we are $50 a day cheaper than a campground across the road. The campground across the road has miniature golf. It has swimming pools. It has all kinds of amenities that we don't use. Right. So you want to consider that also as a tip. If you're not going to use a swimming pool, don't pay for the swimming pool. We don't have a swimming pool, but we've got this gorgeous lake mm -hmm. that we can swim in. We went paddle boarding in the lake. It's all what you want. I mean, if you've got children and, and, and you need a playground and a pool for them, then that's what you're going to be looking for. A form of camping that I've heard about and actually watched videos about is, is boondocking on BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. It's free. You can stay for 14 nights and then you have to move, I, I forget the number, let's say 30 miles away and you can do it again. And so you could do that. And there are people that live that life full time where they're just camping on BLM land and, and you know, looking for places for fresh water and looking for places to dump, looking for places to dump their trash. You know, all the stuff that we kind of take for granted because we have we have that in the, in the campgrounds we stay in. But that's the, the, the downside of BLM. The, the plus side is you don't have any campground expense at all. We've never done it, so we can't speak to it. But if you have, absolutely, you know, uh, let us know in the comments uh, how you like BLM land and any, any tips that you have. I mean, it could be fun for the right person. I mean, that is something I have to say about RV life. There is a kind of RV life. Oh, there's a train coming train, behind. Train going by. <laughs> train going by. There is a kind of RV life for anybody and everybody. Yep. I really think yep. if you want to travel a lot, you can do it. If you don't want to travel at all, you can do it with RV life. If you want to never see a soul and be out in the woods and be, you could buy some land and you could homestead on it. Yeah, you yeah. could go completely off grid in, in this lifestyle. And then we've met people like at Camp Land at the Bay, which was urban camping, looking at, you know, at the San Diego skyline, basically city camping. And yeah. that that was awesome too, Yeah, you know? Yeah. So you can do it any way you want. So let us know in the comments what kind of camping you like to do. And we will see you in the next video. Oh no, this is not my kind of camping. Oh no.